There are a few ways to deploy a site to Netlify. Some are better suited for some tasks than others. Hi, I'm Phil on the engineering team at Netlify. And in this video, I'll walk you through five ways to deploy a site to Netlify and what makes them different. If you have a fully static site that doesn't require a build step, you can go to netlify.com slash drop, drag the entire directory over, wait a couple seconds, and you're done. You may encounter these blue deploy to Netlify buttons all over the web in articles, guides, documentation, and readme's. Wherever you see one, click the button, click connect to GitHub, authenticate, choose a name for your repository and site, and Netlify will have created a repository for you that is an exact copy of the template that the button was pointing at. So now your repo exists, your site exists, they're linked together, and whenever you open a pull request on this repo, we'll create a deploy preview for you and attach it to the PR. And any deploy to your default branch, which is usually main, will be deployed automatically to your main production URL. Now let's check back on our deploy. We can see here the repo that we've created and the deployment is complete. Here's our website. The most common way that I deploy Netlify sites is I've got some idea in mind, or I'm trying out some framework. I'm looking at documentation, and the framework says, here's how you create a site. So let's take that command. In this case, we're going to use Astro's normal default uh, way to create a site. Paste that into a terminal. It's going to create a website for us. Usually, it asks you a few questions. What do we want to call it? Which template do we want to use? Do we want to use TypeScript, and so on? answer all these questions. <laughs> Enjoy the very amusing rainbow output. And then some frameworks have a Netlify specific step. In this case, we're just gonna we're just gonna type astro add Netlify in the terminal. Here we go. So let's go into our directory and type astro add Netlify. Now we've created a site. Should work locally. But we need this to be on GitHub. So we're going to commit this and push it to a repository on GitHub. Now, there are multiple ways that you can do this. What I'm used to is using GitHub's CLI called Hub. So I'm just going to do that. And it's going to create a repository on GitHub. It's also going to set the right uh, configuration in my local Git site so that it's linked to that origin. Now, if I git push, it gets pushed to GitHub. And now I can type Netlify init. And with this, I'm going to choose create and configure a new site, choose which team to add it in. If you want, you can type in a name. And now we have a Netlify site that's been created and linked to, to that GitHub site that we created previously. You can answer these questions. You can usually just choose the default answers. And now very similar to the previous uh, scenario that we walked through with the deploy to Netlify button, our site is linked to our repo. And whenever we push something, it will get deployed automatically. If you open a pull request, it will be a preview. If you push it directly to your main branch, it will go directly to your main URL. So let's take a look at our website. You can type Netlify open for this, or you can go directly to app.netlify.com and click around. Here we can take a look at our deploy. We had a first deploy triggered when we linked it, and then a second deploy when we pushed an additional commit. Feel free to mock me in the comments. Nailed it. All right, how's our deploy doing? And our site is deployed. Let's take a look. There we go. What if you just don't feel like typing much today? You want to sit back, relax, and let the AI do the work. Go to bolt.new. Type in whatever it is that you want. All right, this is looking pretty good. Oh, it's decided to label the difficulty of each individual strategy. It's pretty interesting. Color coded, very nice. We're using Tailwind, good choice. All right, looks pretty good. Let's take a look should spin up on its own. All right, well, let's deploy this to Netlify. Click the blue button in the top right corner, deploy. Uh, Bolt will 
create a sort of anonymous Netlify site and deploy this to that site and give you a link, which is publicly accessible. And there's your site. From there, you can make that site your own and so on. And there you have it, five ways to deploy a site to Netlify. But did you know there are actually more than just five? If you know about one of the others, let us know in the comments.